Welcome to the National Museum of Decorative Painting. The National Museum of Decorative Painting was formed in 1982. We've recently relocated to Atlanta, Georgia, and we're so excited to have you here in our new home. The Contemporary Gallery features prime examples of decorative painting. We have artwork by some of America's top decorative painters, as well as a wonderful collection of international artwork. Prize pieces in our collection include a wonderful selection of Russian folk art featuring geste of trays. We have an incredible collection of European folk art featuring rose modeling styles from all the various regions of Norway. We're especially proud of Kamiko Watabe of Japan, who has been a winner of our juried art competition for many, many years. Her work features a style of painting known as pointillism, where the entire design is created by many dots of very, very fine colors. Also included in our collection is artwork from Josanya Jansen, one of America's top folk artists. The large quilt on the wall was created by Cynthia Erickson of Massachusetts. It was featured in the Book of Painted Quilts. Cynthia also created the wonderful dome top trunk and the New England um, angel. One of America's most beloved decorative painters is Mary Jo Leisure from Pleasanton, Kansas, and we're pleased to have a large selection of her work included in our collection. Mary Jo is most noted for her wonderful, soft, delicate rose paintings. Included in our historic gallery are wonderful examples of country painted tinware. It's amazing to see this early American decorative painting and to realize that the artists and craftsmen who created this worked in incredibly primitive conditions with less than desirable artist's materials. Country painted tin is basically decorated sheet iron that was covered with a tin coating. It was also known as Japan ware. They used cat hair brushes that they often made themselves as supplies were very difficult to find in the colonies. We're very fortunate to have a number of pieces from noted folk artist Peter Hunt. Peter Hunt is a premier uh, American folk artist who worked from the 1930s to his death in the 1960s. Peter Hunt during his lifetime was basically the equivalent of Martha Stewart. Um, he not only did decorative painting, but he also created lines of fabrics, dinnerware, glassware, and he worked exclusively with the DuPont Paint Company. And when DuPont came out with styrofoam, Peter Hunt was the first to create Christmas decorations made of styrofoam. Peter Hunt's work has also been featured on the Antiques Roadshow. When you visit the museum and have looked around in the main galleries, we always welcome guests to leave the formal galleries and come back and see our visible storage area. Here we have stacks of artwork where you can see a huge portion of our collection on display. The museum has more than 1,300 artifacts. Many are shown on the shelves as well as Flat work and plates, trays, things like that are stored in our archival drawers. In addition to the galleries, the museum also has a wonderful education center located on the second floor of the building. Providing educational opportunities is core to our mission statement, so we're very excited to have this state-of-the-art education center. Our state-of-the-art classroom uh, has beautiful natural light as well as track lighting and fluorescent overhead lights. Recently, Dennis Cap of the Martin F. Weber Company has promised to donate 30 separate workstations so that each student attending a seminar or workshop here at the museum will have their own workstation. Thanks for coming on this virtual visit to our museum. If you'd like, you can visit us anytime here in Atlanta, or if you can't make it to Atlanta, be sure to visit our website at dpmuseum.org.